Hello and welcome to another gameplay edition by Gamer Dan. Today we'll look at the Tier 3 French Premium Tank Destroyer. TargetDamage.com does show benchmark damage values for the PC version. Uh, can kind of get a ballpark value of what we should be doing here on the 360. 400 damage for average, 600, pretty good. 750 for Unicom status as far as damaging other tanks. Now this is a tier 3 tank destroyer, like I said, we are on Corellia, standard battle. Looks like we've got the north spawn. This tank is not very fast, it's actually pretty sluggish. If I go to that left side over there, I'll pretty much be limiting myself to fight only the tanks that come down that corridor. If I kind of situate myself in the middle, I'll be able to attack um, enemy tanks that are coming down the center and the right-hand side. So I figured that's probably the best thing to do. Got a few light tanks ahead of me. Miss. Miss again. This tank is really quite accurate. I don't know what's going on. Why am I missing so much here at the beginning? I haven't played this tank in a while, so I don't know if that has to do with it, but I cannot get a shot to save my life until now. Bam! Track him. Now that he's not moving, I know I can hit him. Hit him once. He's almost dead. Finish him off. Now looking at the attack map, it's a good thing I didn't go down that left side. There's not really anybody over there. So, I think I made a wise decision by sitting over here. The gun arc is not very wide, so you kind of have to be right where you want to be hitting the enemies at. Just got a few degrees to the left, a few degrees to the right, not much wiggle room there. But it's fairly accurate, so as long as you point the gun in the right direction, <laughs> Although I'm having a hard time at the moment for some reason. I see them, some tanks on the right, and they disappear. Looking at attack map, there are no more green teams there on that side, so I know I have to flank over. At this point, I get on the mic and I start saying that, and um, someone who just died also mentioned that same exact thing, that that flank has fallen. Being that there's only one tank destroyer and two artilleries at our base, I gotta provide some kind of support. The, uh, the tank that I'm using has a view range of 400 meters, which is really good. Here comes the light. I fire. Have to fire again. And nearly kill him with that shot. I'm not backing down. I'm not intimidating. I missed that shot for some odd reason. But this shot finishes him. I've lost half my health, but I'm not out of the game yet. Sure enough, the Reds are trying to come up on our base. Enemy is hit. Almost kill him with one shot. Focusing on someone else. Good job, Red Team. Take him out. One tank left. Now, as you can see, we had four tanks coming up to our base. But just by being in that right place at the right time, I was able to help fend off those four invaders. Now they're down to three. Not very many enemies left. Looks like we got this in the bag. Long as the shot, take him out. Two tanks left, tank destroyer and artillery. Unfortunately, I can't quite get a shot on that tank, so I'm just gonna kinda sit here and let the green team handle it. I've already got five kills. I'm not very fast, like I said. No way I'm gonna make it over there. And the match is over. Victory is this ours. tank does have 180 hit points. Armor in the front, 40. On the sides, 20. On the rear, 40. The gun is really nice. It can handle itself in tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. With 98 average pen for regular ammo and 126 average pen for premium rounds. With a damage of 110 per shot. Let's see where I placed on the results screen. 
Ah, first. That was a pretty good match, I think. Now, if that had been a tier 4 match, that tank would handle itself no problem. I like the tank. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you again soon.